Hi everyone, good morning. We're uh, out for our morning walk. We're gonna be leaving the Turtle Rock campground this morning. So this is a beautiful place, it really is. I'm glad we came up here. Okay, we're pulling out of Turtle Rock Camp. On this trip here, we left Buena Vista and drove down south to Salida and spent the night. And then the next day, we drove back north up to Leadville, where we ended up at our new camp. I think that's a Sherman tank. Good morning. We just woke up at the Salida Welcome Center. We got into town yesterday afternoon. It was just 30 minutes from where we were. Went to Walmart. Uh, then I stopped. There was a place called 50 Burger. And I got a burger and some fries. Then we drove up the road here to this welcome center and snuggled up in and got something to eat and took some good walks and saw a tank that they got parked out here that wasn't there last time we were here. It's been a couple years, a few years since we've been here. Um, and I heard from the guy at the cell phone shop he said that the screen is due in before noon today and I told him I was in town and that as soon as he's got a hold of it and he's ready for me I can drive right over he's like 15 minutes from here so that's the plan today I'm just waking up just took lefty out for a first little walk around and we'll get the phone fixed and then we'll get up to Leadville <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. That's quite loud enough, dude. Hold on. Now this is our overnight spot that we picked over here at this welcome center. This is Poncho Springs. It's just outside of Salida. And we've, uh, we've actually slept here at this rest stop before. A few years ago, we were leaving town and we stayed overnight here and got up the next morning and went south. There's a pass right through that dip in the mountains right there. So we went up and over that pass to head south out of here. Uh, there was a snowstorm and we had been waiting for 
the snow to melt so we could get over the pass without chains. And we spent a couple days milling around town here. We spent a night at Walmart. And then we spent a night here because the snow had subsided. And we drove up in the morning and the signs didn't say the chains were required anymore. The previous morning we got up there and it said chains required. So I turned us around and we came back into town for another day, uh, just waiting for it to melt. So this is a nice welcome center. It's noisy here right now because they're doing road construction. So they've started back up this morning. They're doing paving, you can see the work they're doing over there. So they finished up at about 6 p.m. yesterday and then they started back up at 5 a.m. So they're, they must be doing 12 hour days and I'm sure they're rushing to get it done before the snows come. So this area is at like 7,100 feet elevation. So we're lower than we just were. Buena Vista was 8,500. So it's a little warmer here because we're a little bit lower. And we've camped in this area at the Shivano Wildlife Area, it's some BLM land. And it's just outside of town here. It's actually down that road about a mile. And then you turn north and you're going up at the base of those mountains right there. Okay, this is called the Crossroads Welcome Center. And again, it's right here in Poncho Springs. Come on, puppy. See there, this road construction's causing little backups out here. So this is interesting. All of the elevations, the different mountains. So 14,000 and change seems to be the highest. Fourteen three sixty La Plata Peak. I think that's the highest. So when we so they're showing uh, Buena Vista, seventy nine hundred feet, and then Salida. Uh, Poncho Springs, which is where we are technically right now, and then Salida at 7,100. So 7,500 feet is what we're at right now. And so there's the pass, Monarch Pass. That's the one we've done. And it wasn't bad. It's only 11,312 feet. It wasn't bad. And it's over very quickly. And then you're, you're on the flats. Uh, if you're heading south, so that's an easy one to do. just dropped the phone off at the repair shop so it's uh, it's a very um, it's on County Road I forget the number but 
there's like nothing out there, no businesses or anything. And then there's the sign for the Salida phone repair up this little gravel road, gravel driveway, and this little log cabin and little outbuilding. And that's where he's got the repair shop. Beautiful scenery, like outside the door is the mountain ranges and everything. He had some, I don't know if they're his, he said he rents the place but some like five foot tall tomato plants, a whole bunch of them growing and just beautiful. I complimented him on the scenery and all that. So we dropped the phone off and we just turned around and drove five minutes down the road here. There's some public parking. We're in the town of Salida technically. We're down at the old end um, and we're just gonna sit here. I've got this Kevin Costner movie uh, what's it called horizon i believe so it's a multi-part i don't know if it's two or three parts movies and so they were releasing the first one and then they were going to release the second one on a certain date and i heard that the first one didn't do so hot so they held off on releasing the second one so it's on max and i've just it's been up there at the like the advertised movie um, every time I open Mac so I just clicked on it and it's awesome to see a movie with the scenery like it's starting out here out in the it looks like it's taking place in New Mexico possibly or Utah from the, the scenery and the red rock and the dirt and everything so we're gonna watch it here for 45 minutes and then head back up the road and pick up the phone from him. I feel bad, we got out here, it's just a, a gravel dirt parking lot. Got him clipped up to go take a quick loop around the parking lot and 30 feet away he stepped on two goat heads. So that brought the walk to a stop. So I got him back in here, I don't want that happening again. I mean, he froze, he came to, he didn't move. So I pulled him out of his paw and then when we got back in the rig, there was one right here on the carpet that must have come off the bottom of my shoe because those things stick. They really are tough. Got to get a shot of the greenhouse. Come on, scoot over, buddy. Okay. Get a shot of the greenhouse. Guess what's in it. Okay, here, scoot over.
get rocking. We're gonna cross country here. You recognize it here, huh? Feel good? Not too hot? I checked the forecast for Leadville here this morning and it showed four or five days in a row of just sun. So we're lucky. I mean, I was talking with my friend Mac who just left Leadville because he said it's been just really not great weather-wise. Very wet, chilly not sun he's not getting good solar there are some clouds but this is a mostly sunny day just like it said in the forecast so i'm gonna get us settled i need to get something to eat and just leave lefty out here and i know he's super happy being able just to stay out here This way, this way. Oh, found some grass. It's testing it out. No, I don't think it's gonna pass. It's not the right kind. Thank you all for coming along on the trip with us. That was uh, a lot of things happening in, in uh, that couple of day period. Today we're just sitting inside. It's a little chilly out, a little drizzly. Uh, so we're just hanging out inside today. I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you especially to all the patrons. Y you all really help us to keep going. We've been struggling a bit up here in this part of the country with our cell signal. Um, one of the recent videos it took me 36 hours to upload it and I've decided that I'm finally going to go ahead and look at getting the Starlink they just announced that you can now have full in motion use uh, of course they raised the price a little bit but the struggles that I've been through um, if I was just like regular, you know, streaming stuff, I'd be okay. But having to upload a three, four, five, six gigabyte video file, that really, <laughs> that really kind of hurts me. Um, and so I, I think it's time that I, I look at getting the Starlink and canceling my hotspot that I've had for the last over five years that's gotten us by but uh, Memorial Day weekend especially we had about uh, a two-day period where we had no we had a cell signal I had three and four bars but there were so many people that we had no internet so when I went through that I said it's it's I can't go through this anymore you know I've got to have internet I've got to have connectivity and how am I going to be able to get all my masterpiece videos uploaded to y'all if I don't have a good signal? Um, so thanks again for being here. Everyone take care. Be safe. We'll see y'all again real soon. And we'll take you on some walks around this area. It's really beautiful here in Leadville.